As a society, we disagree on many things, but if one thing is for sure, we all hate to pay taxes. I mean, don't you just hate receiving that paycheck after a long week of work just to look down and see 20 plus percent of the money that you earned ripped straight from your paycheck? It's annoying. So the question comes, can we live in a tax-free society? I mean, I'm pretty sure you've heard this saying at least one time in your life before, the only things guaranteed in life or death and taxes. But let's say this, let's say you wake up tomorrow morning in a brand new country with zero taxes. There is no infrastructure, no buildings, no nothing, just land and one universal rule. If you charge anyone taxes, you will be punished. Now of course, the first thing in creating this nation is creating a government. After all, you need to establish order and have a system within the country. Now, the private sector for sure will thrive. With no taxes, individual people will have more capital to create businesses, which in turn will create more jobs for others. People will be creating an economy in this new nation and keeping 100% of the money they earn, which they will use to invest and build up their own private lives. Houses, businesses such as brick and mortar stores, services, new technology, private schooling and universities, etc. Where there is a demand, the people of this new nation will supply it and innovate to keep society moving forward as they'll have more capital on hand to do so. Now, this sounds great in theory. A society truly run by the people, individuals, people on their own creating to improve the nation. But hold up. You may be thinking, in what utopian society is that possible because here's the main issue. We're humans, and humans aren't perfect. When people are working for themselves and their own livelihood, they tend to get tunnel vision which from time to time can have a negative effect on society as a whole because their individual decisions are influenced by incentive. What's the incentive for me to invest money into a public school if it has a much less return on investment than a private school that charges high fees? What's the incentive for me to invest a monumental sum of money to organize and build a structured system of roads and highways across the nation? Am I willing to wait generations to make my money back? Or else, imagine having to pay tolls on every single turn you make, or having to pay 10 times what you pay now to enter the highway. Or how about this? who's gonna build and maintain streetlights? Because what's the incentive to do so from a business standpoint? How are you going to make profit on such a large investment? Are you, the citizen, willing to pay monthly fees for these streetlights on top of your own individual energy bill? What if you don't even go out at night? Why are you still paying for it? See, what is the incentive to do such big infrastructure projects from an individual standpoint? It betters society, sure, and it is needed to maximize efficiency, but it does nothing for the individual investing into such project unless they wait a very long time to make their money back or charge insanely high fees. The opportunity cost just doesn't make sense unless you charge everyone to fund these projects. And guess what? That seems just like another form of taxation, which in this nation is subject to punishment. But wait, who's going to enforce this punishment? Who's paying for a criminal justice system? And let's not even get into national defense because with no taxes, there is no defense, there is no army. Because see, in a zero tax society, the individuals will succeed greatly, but the society as a whole will be disorganized because there's no incentive to build the necessary infrastructure because it's not very profitable. Now, you may be wondering, what if this nation were to just charge taxes initially to build up the infrastructure, and then, once it's all there, just cut taxes to zero? Makes sense, right? Well, here's the thing, maintenance is also an issue. You have to maintain and reseal roads. You need to maintain schools so that it stays up to date and clean. You need to change light bulbs for each and every street light. All these jobs, which may seem rudimentary, incur costs which multiply into huge fees. And unlike the government who spends tax dollars freely, the private sector needs income to be generated from these investments that not only suffice the costs, but exceed it so that there is profit. Because while the government may gladly go into trillions of dollars of debt to do the jobs that they have to do, private individuals and private businesses strive for profits. They're not going to waste their time and money to do anything for free, let alone lose money and go into debt. Hence, these major projects will be ignored because what's the incentive to do so if the return is not going to be worth it? Look. 
As much as I hate to admit it, there are only two things guaranteed in life, death and taxes. Now, this doesn't mean that the tax system is perfect in the US because it is far from it. As much as we all want to believe that the government responsibly spends our tax dollars on the betterment of society, they do waste and throw a lot of money down the drain. However, we still need to have these less profitable forms of infrastructure, to put it bluntly, like public schools, road networks, a police system, national defense, and streetlights to keep society efficient, safe, and secure. Without that, we just have individuals, not a nation. So as much as you may hate the government and hate taxes, a successful society needs to have that figure that sort of does those boring jobs, that do not offer much incentive in terms of money and in terms of profit, but provide a huge benefit to society. So a tax-free society just simply is not possible if you're looking to create a successful nation. You need some form of taxation. Now, a low tax nation is a different story and is quite intriguing to say the least because it does check all the necessary boxes. But sadly, in America and in many places around the world, well, the government loves their tax revenue. Just like how individuals want to maximize profits, the government wants to do the same as well. As humans, we love money because money equals power. Therefore, the only things guaranteed in life are death and taxes. Thank you.